This is a bit of a weird intro, but morning, even though it's currently evening. I've basically watched the intro I've done to this video and wasn't pleased with it, so I'm doing it again. By now, you would have seen Tay and I's race up to Scotland from Plymouth. If you haven't, then it's... It's linked above, go and check that out. Epic, epic video, epic race, full Top Gear style. So pleased with how this has come out. Fucking hell. But as we'd come all this way, we thought it was silly just to turn around and go straight back home again. So we've actually come up to the Isle of Skye for a couple of days. So I thought I'd do a few videos just showing you where we are, what we're up to. So if you're thinking of going, planning on going, or have been and want some inspiration to go again, I'll show you what we're up to and give you some ideas for your trip. But yeah, hope you enjoy. Obviously, the first bit of the trip is actually getting to the Isle of Skye. And don't be fooled because the journey there is 100% part of your road trip because it is absolutely stunning. Just make sure that you take the A87 and you will not be disappointed. The problem we're going to have with this road trip is that we've done less than a mile of the 100 miles we've got to do today. And we've already stopped because... Look at it. If it gets better from here, then bring it on. And it's if by magic, the last video I've done on here, or last talking bit, it was blue skies, golden sun coming through the trees. Looked incredible. And we've been driving for what? Less than half an hour? Half an hour, 45 half minutes. Half an hour, 45 minutes. And you can just about see your hand in front of your face. <laughs> it's mad. Don't need the shades anymore, do you? No. I'm going to wear them anyway, so I look cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I put it on Google Maps. Fucking put the data on GPR, actually. Yeah. So you're having a lot. Just... <laughs> Has anyone seen... That, that, the GPRS <laughs> in like the last 10 years. Welcome to Scotland. We haven't even got Muck 4 g yet. <laughs> I know. Few days. We're still like 50 miles from Sky, just on like a standard A road. You could genuinely stop every two minutes oh. and you'd see something like this. It's not the ideal place or weather for drone shots. Oh no, the fucking fog's coming in now. But how cool is it going to look going out over there? Harry's L drone, this jumper, and a hat repping the old crotchet daydreams. He's done that before. <laughs> Look out, southerners are about. <laughs> Right, so we finally made it to a place called El Elgol, El Elgol, Elgol, Eagle. We can gloss over that for the moment. Firstly, this place is insane, like incredible. So we've, um, we're going to get a a boat from here. It takes us around to Lock Cool Sec or something. And the 
the lovely lady who booked it pronounced it perfectly and I wasn't even going to try and get it right but it's apparently an amazing lake um, that's around the back of these mountains here and is a must see when in the eye of the sky so I'm told so it was quite expensive but I've been told it's worth it so It's going to be quite tricky because we've only got two days in the Isle of Skye. We've got today, which is Friday, and Saturday, tomorrow, obviously, and then we're coming back early Sunday morning. So we want to make the most of the time we're here, but I just think there's so much to see and do that it's going to be impossible. So we're going to make the most of everywhere that we do go, and I think that the nicest places that we find are probably going to be like stuff we find accidentally. So hopefully, hopefully, we stumble across some right gems, but Bloody beautiful. <laughs> just got off the ferry from Elgol to Loch Karusk is how you pronounce it apparently and as you can tell probably by the b-roll that I've shown you but this is probably one of the most incredible places I've ever been I'm out of breath dear but we've got a short I think it's four five hundred meter walk to the lock so I'll stop yapping and we can crack on and do that And if the trip over here wasn't incredible enough, wow, <laughs> look at this. Hang on. I bet the GoPro is not doing this justice, like at all, like at all. Oh. I swear it's like coming away with a fucking mounting go. Oh. given us an hour and a half just to have a good old explore around so we've got loads of time and now we're going to try and get to the other side of the lock so we can sit all the way up and get the mountains in the background because I think the content there will be incredible it's all right I didn't want that ankle anyway have you just done yours <laughs> Look at that. I'm so hot. I'm desperate to get in there because just, well, how inviting does that look? But I haven't got shorts, I haven't got a towel, I haven't got anything with me. So either this is going to be completely worth it and no regrets, or I'm going to spend the next three or four hours absolutely. What's it like? Oop, USA. Refreshing is the word I'd use. Ow, you bastard. There he is. Hit the like button if you want Tay to fall over. Do a fall over. But what I will say is if you're like me and you get eaten alive by just about anything, like <laughs> Make sure you bring some kind of like insect repellent or um, bug spray, that kind of thing, because I didn't, and I'm literally itching everywhere. As long as the R5 gets across safely, I don't really care what happens to me. <laughs> i 
eaten alive out here like absolutely eaten alive anyway that is the end of our first day in isle of sky we've got these lovely pods for the night with pretty epic sea views mountain views Phew, doesn't get any better but yeah other than our trip to lock cause it cause the lock and l go and the the boat ride and stuff we basically drove here and took our time coming over because just just even just driving places here is is more than worth the trip it, honestly the roads are incredible the views from the roads are incredible so ugh, bring fucking hell, bring <laughs> bring some kind of insect repellent honestly i am that i'm covered in bites as in like plus i look like i've got chicken pox but yeah other than that i really hope you enjoyed this if you want to see more videos like this one because i'd love to get into doing travel related content that would be oh that would be the dream and yeah if you did like this one hit that like button comment down below maybe some ideas that you've got for uh, for visiting sky if you've been or planning on going and of course subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.